Have you ever felt hesitant to come in and close on the volleys because you feel vulnerable, because you're going to get loved, or you just don't know how to close in correctly? This is the singles feeding drill that is going to help you with that specifically. Moving forward and closing your volleys as well as moving back for the owner overhead so you don't feel vulnerable anymore in singles. So as you can see, the very important part about moving through the volley is with the footwork. Ian does not stop on the footwork moving through the volley as he's closing. And on the overhead, he's crossing over when he's coming back. He's not just running backwards like this. So I'm going to slow it down here. Kevin's going to feed Ian a closing volley. And if you just focus in on the footwork, you'll see that he's always moving through the volley. It's not a step and punch and stop because that is going to limit your control. He's actually using his body to close through the ball. Now the same thing if you move up and hit an overhead, please, Ian. The same thing as if the overhead, he's going to cross over to move back to the overhead. Can you do it incorrectly, Ian? So if he goes backwards this way, not only is it very difficult to get into a good position to hit an overhead effectively, but you actually can fall back and hit your head very easily as well, which we don't want to happen. So instead, he's going to actually cross over. After his drop step, he's going to actually turn his body and move backwards, pointing his toes in that direction. We can do a couple more of the full drill. So this is a great drill to combine those so that you can feel like you can really close in the backhand volley and then a forehand volley close and then going back for the overhead. So if you feel more comfortable moving through the volleys and back for the overhead, you're not going to feel vulnerable when you're really closing in and trying to win those points in singles.